Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again. All right, guys, we are doing a Terrapin beer tonight. Coming back to the East Coast, um, Atlanta to be specific. This is their Side Project 15. It's their newest Side Project beer, which are kind of like one-off beers that they like to do. Um, this is the so-called Indiana Crunkles, which is a Bavarian Hefeweizen that's hopped like an American IPA. 7.3% alcohol by volume. Sounds delicious, two of my favorite styles. So with that said, let me get to a glass. I know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Indiana Crunkles. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Indiana Crunkles, it's really, really a beautiful beer. Um, kind of a light, hazy orange, kind of like a sunset orange. Really, really nice. There was probably about eh, about four fingers worth of head on there. Nice white, kind of pillowy, rocky um, type of vanilla, creamy looking head on there. Um, slight haze to it. It's not quite as hazy as like a traditional Bavarian Hefeweizen, but overall, just a beautiful, beautiful looking beer. All right, guys, the aroma on Indiana Krungles. Yeah, the first. Uh, it's a good sign. So the first impression I get is big banana, kind of dried banana chips in this one. There's a nice spiciness to it, a nice kind of earthy, kind of peppery spiciness to it. Big hops in this one as well, and they kind of don't come through quite past the banana, but they're definitely there. Citrus, lemon peel, orange peel, very West Coast kind of floral, um, astringent hops coming through in this one. I gotta tell you, it's a really, really good smelling beer. Wow. All right, so the taste on the Indiana Crunkles. That's really good. Um, I, two styles that would go together in my book are Bavarian Hefeweizen and an IPA, and this one is I, the first combination I've had of it. Um, but it's really cool because you get the sweetness from the Bavarian Hefeweizen in the form of the Bavarian yeast. You get the banana, kind of dried banana flavor to it, the spiciness. Um, you get the inherent kind of sweetness from the uh, the yeast character in that one. At the same time, you get all the bitterness, the citrus, the dryness, the astringency from these kind of West Coast slash American style hops in there. You get pine and lemon zest and orange peel. I'm also getting some hop sweetness, like the middle of the country, kind of a tropical fruit type of flavor to it. 7.3%, um, I don't taste that alcohol at all. This is a really, really drinkable beer. Um, nice, nice mouthfeel, coats the mouth, nice kind of dry finish from that hop, um, kind of quality in there. Definitely a West Coast kind of IPA finish to this one. Aftertaste is a, a floral hop, a sweet hop, um, a little bit of lemon in there, definitely some of that clove um, from the, the Hefeweizen Yeats. It, it, it's a really, really nice tasting beer. I'm really surprised. All right, guys, so the uh, final verdict on the Terrapin Side Project 15, AKA Indiana Crunkles Bavarian Hefeweizen IPA. I gotta give this one an A minus. I was really surprised by this one. Um, it's super drinkable, super, I mean, super refreshing, 7.3%. You don't taste that alcohol at all. For me, this is like a perfect beer. I love Bavarian Hefeweizens, I love IPAs. So I'm getting both of those in one beer and they're both really solid contenders. I'm getting all the banana, all the clove, all the kind of big mouthfeel in the Bavarian Hefeweizen. At the same time, I'm getting all that dryness, all that astringency, all that citrus. Um, like I like in my kind of like West Coast style IPAs. They kind of come together. They do cancel each other out a little bit, but they also accentuate each other. But it's a very cool experiment um, and it works and it's a very cool thing and I'd love to see more of this. It actually reminds me a lot of Three Floyd's Gumball Head. Um, if you had that, that's a similar taste to it. It's a little bit more hop forward. Um, but definitely in that category. So with that said, guys, I got to give this one an A minus. I think it is definitely worth a try. It is a very, very cool kind of experimental mirror, and I definitely recommend it. Um, so with that said, getting an A minus for me. And remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. <laughs>